Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another exciting episode of the wonderful, webulous project, Zomboid. Or should I say, good morning, everybody. Good morning, indeed. For you, it is, well, for me, rather. Uh, it's currently 7 a.m.? 7 o'clock in the morning on the day you're seeing this video. Uh, the day, the time it's going to be going up is 9 a.m. of my time, so whatever time that is for you. And I hope you're having or had an excellent day. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. I still have my morning tea to finish up, but I love recording nice and early. I really do. I, I know I've talked about this the past couple episodes, so I'll try not to talk about it much, but up with the sun and all that good stuff. So, what did we do last episode? Last episode, we went on a shotgun spree in the dire hopes that we are going to come across a sledgehammer, which we did not. So, what are we going to do now? Whoops, I did not mean to drop that. Um, so what are we going to do now? Well, I propose the idea of heading off and going into Muldrow, as that might be the best option for us to get supplies that we haven't quite come across in West Point. Most people kind of responded positively to that. They kind of want to see a Muldrow thing. Um, and I'm thinking that might be a good idea. It actually might take a lot less time than I, I originally anticipated. Um, it might be more, uh, probably two or three episodes to get there and back, probably, barring I get lost. Um, uh, speaking of, I don't have my fucking map up. But that's fine, I should be able to find my way there. I'm assuming I'll be able to find my way there. Um, and then, you know, we should hopefully, I'd say, an episode to get there, um, an episode to find what we want, maybe two, and then an episode to get back. I'm, I'm thinking that's how it's probably gonna roll around. I'm hoping that's how it's gonna go as well. Um, and, and a lot of people seem like they didn't, weren't opposed to it. Some people were really excited to see that that might be the option we take. So if that's the case, if that's what we end up doing, we'll probably start that today. Uh, but before we start making that trip, I do want to make sure a couple of things are done on my checklist before we head down that way. Primarily, taking care of boarding up that house that is connected via um, those little walls slash tunnels that I've been creating. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that, make sure that's something we take care of first. I just want to make sure it's boarded up, or at least safe in most areas, and then move on from there. And the reason I care so much about that is because it could lead into my hallway system, which I don't want to happen. Um, if we swing out this way, I'll show you what I mean. Alright. So, it's, as, as, as it stands right now, right, we have um, this wall here. If we take a look, we'll just kind of pan the camera over. We have this wall here that connects these two. That's pretty safe. And then we have this wall here that connects to this house right here. Um, and then, of course, we have this whole area that's open. So, obviously, we're going to have the opportunity and potential to have zombies kind of creep around here as we leave West Point and we come back after a few days travel. We could come back with zombies in the courtyard, etc, etc. But my biggest concern isn't that. That's not a big deal. What I am concerned about, as we kind of come around this way, actually we can come in through this way, um, is the zombies entering through the house in the back door and window over here. And the reason I'm worried about that is because it allows them the potential to sneak into my hall. Really? Can you climb through, buddy? Uh, to sneak into my hallway system right here. And if that's the case, if they do sneak into here, they could file all the way down, they could pack it, they could bust down all the doors that I've worked on, and even start working into my safe house. Chances of that happening are incredibly slim. I don't think it can or will happen. Um, but the chance is there, and I'd rather be uh, safe than sorry. I, I like to cover my bases, as everybody knows. And if uh, something has the potential of getting broken or destroyed or ruined due to zombie attacks, I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that it doesn't. This is playing it safe and securing your belongings before you leave. It's like locking the house before you head out on a long trip. Or making sure you have somebody popping by your house every so often if you go on vacation somewhere. Just gotta take care of the little things, man. Alright, so we got door frames up, which is good. Uh, now we're gonna start barricading up the windows that are available for zombies to crawl through. So we'll go ahead and do that. Really, dude? You don't have to go out there. You can do it right here. Or not. Alright, well, we'll put one there. We'll go around the back side later. Um, we need to take care of this one. Open curtains. Barricade this one up. Go ahead and do about three per, so I can go around and take care of them. This one over here. Broken windows are going to take priority, obviously. We want to make sure those are the ones that are barricaded up first. We're also going to need to make two doors. Oop, nope, nope. Alright, we added planks. We have three planks. Oh, nails. We need nails. Um, why is this? Oh, because this is uh, not equipped. Let's go ahead and pop this open and grab a box of nails. And we can open this up. <clears throat> there we go. And now we can barricade at least two more here. Barricade. Alright, what we'll do is we'll go outside, we'll wrap around, and we'll go finish that one up. 
Uh, if I can even go out that way. No, let's go out this way. And then we'll go at least put one more on this one. We'll get more logs. We'll go finish the job. We'll actually chop these trees down. We could just use these. It'll be easier for everyone involved instead of running back and forth. So let's go ahead and do that. That should be the last one. We can go equip this as our... Did I just drop it? Nope, I have it. Okay. Um, do I have an axe? I did not bring my axe. Silly me. Let's go grab my axe. That will chop down the trees near the house. We'll finish kind of doing all of that. Um, we need hinges, too. We need four hinges in total. So that's something we're going to go actually do before we chop down those trees as well. Make sure we get hinges for our doors. Uh, I don't think we have any left. I'm almost positive we don't, actually. There's the axe. We'll equip this as our primary. We have two more axes here. But I don't see any hinges, so we'll go ahead and uh, chop and break down some neighboring doors and take the hinges if we can. Luckily, we still have lots of doors to work with with the, the neighbor's houses nearby, so go ahead and chop these down. Any hinges? Are we lucky? Looks like we're not so lucky. I am going to take the doorknob, though. We're going to need it. We need two doorknobs, even though there's plenty of at the house over there. Might as well grab them while we're here. Save time. Doesn't really matter, actually. Four, five, six. Oh, I thought it was only like six. Oop, we might have... All right, we have one door's worth of hinges and two doors' worth of doorknobs. And then we'll take out one more. We just need two more hinges. We'll be able to get it within these two buildings. I almost can guarantee it. Uh, looks like we were not so lucky on the hinge front here. Apparently my guy does not know how to not swing wildly and destroy the frame of the door and all the things that are holding it together. Really sad, unfortunately. But hey, whatever. Oh, we got at least one here. Yeah. We need one more. There we go. One more hinge. That's all we need. Uh, we'll take down this door here. And we have a bunch of extra planks in the process, obviously. So that's also a bonus of knocking down these doors. Oh, is that a hinge? Negative. Oh, man. The hinge lottery is not working out so nicely for us today. There's a dead zombie in there. I did see that. Make sure that it's dead before I swing in there, though. Hello? No, it's dead. Wow, nothing. Alright, well, I said I could almost guarantee it. Unfortunately, I was not able to. Let's go to this next door neighbor and see if they've got anything useful. Instead of borrowing sugar, we're just going to borrow their door. There we go. Come on, hinges. Really? Jesus. I wish this added to something like my carpentry, but I don't think it does. There we go. hey oh. Alright, let's go ahead and grab this. And we'll put the extra one away after we're done. Oh there's, oh, there's actually one right there. Fuck. I'm an idiot. Well, let's grab it. That'll be an extra door's worth of hinges. The doorknobs are the easiest thing to come across because it seems like it's a 100% drop rate for the doors to drop those doorknobs. So, mm. I love this tea. It's so good. Ah, my morning ritual, baby. All right. So let's go ahead and chop down some logs. Let's get back down to business. Excuse me, pardon me. There's a hinge right fucking there, isn't there? Yep, there was. Oh, I'm a moron. Oh, well. Could have chopped down these doors, too. Actually, no, I didn't want to chop down these doors because we're going to need to keep them for when we build into that house. That would have been really silly of me if that's what I had done. All right, we've got at least a door here, so we'll go ahead and build this one first. We'll do one door at a time. Okay, we'll go ahead and saw it up. We're going to need to take out these as well. Nothing else in that bag, which is good. Boom, 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 boom. All right, let's go ahead and build ourselves a door. One door takes four planks. There we go. I'm okay, that's got to be my... Oh, man. That, that light flashing on and off, whatever that is, it's my character's vision. It's scaring ever-living shit out of me. I was like, is there a zombie walking around in there? That scared the crap out of me. And that could have been really bad. All right, we're going to build this last door before we go to bed. I want to make sure we get this last door built. I should only need one log. We'll have an extra plank. We'll barricade something up with it before we leave. But I want to just get this done. Because the later I keep my character up, the later he's going to sleep. 
the later we can get this barricaded or this completely barricaded up before we head out. Uh, and we're getting we're getting video bombed by classified by good old Dennis. Dennis, no, I have not. We have plans though, sir. We have plans. Let's go ahead and build a wooden door. Right here. Perfection. No, we're not gonna. What the? Build. Door. Wooden door. Oh no, why is it not working? Ah, oh, shit. That's really unfortunate. Is it. Was something in the way? I'm trying to see. I'm curious if something's in the way. Like, if I move on this side. Okay, he's just climbing over. He is, like, glitching out. Maybe we'll try another door frame. Put a door frame here. He just won't build. He refuses to build. Uh, that's weird. Oh, well, we could build one here, at least. We need another three planks, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and do that. We've got another log over here. Otherwise, it's going to be, like, the hallway of door frames. This one worked, so I'm curious why that other one wouldn't. Where'd that tree go? Didn't I have another plank down? I'll chop this down. We only need one more log, as it is, anyway. Keeping our character up way later than I wanted to. Oh, come on. Grab it. There we go. Anytime you click away or do something, he just stops picking it up. Even if he doesn't, even if he doesn't end up moving, he still just gets like distracted. Like his ADAD kicks. His ADAD. <laughs> Alright, Star Wars ATAT. ADHD kicks in. Let's go ahead and close that because we're not coming back out there, even if this doesn't work. Hopefully it will though. All right, let's go ahead and go ahead and build door, wooden door. Yep, yeah, that worked. All right, well that's good enough. We have uh, we have ourselves our nice hallway of shit to get through for zombies. So let's go ahead and head back to base. And get our character in bed. He's gonna be sleeping really, really late, but that's fine. We're gonna get him um, some food before he goes to bed too, so he doesn't start going hungry as he sleeps. I don't know about you, but this character, like, I don't know if you've noticed, rather, but the characters when they get hungry while they sleep, they don't give a shit. They do not wake up. I, I, I don't know about you guys, but I wake up when I'm hungry. If I get really hungry, I have woken up hungry before. Ugh, this is back in the day, man. Well. Back in the day, maybe like a couple years ago, you know, when things were tough, I used to sometimes have to go to bed without food. Um, it's a little too much information, I guess, but I would used to, I used to wake up hungry. I had to scavenge. I'd be looking for food and shit. I would. <laughs> there was nights where my dinner was peanut butter out of the jar. It didn't happen that often, but it happened. Um, and those are fun, man. But waking up hungry is not a good time because it's so hard to get back to sleep afterward. But I'm nowhere near that anymore. That was just one one short year in my life where it was like that. Everybody goes through hard years. And I'm, it's just uh, mine was, was getting hungry quite often. So, so the fact that these characters do not wake up when they get hungry bothers me. I worry uh, that the opportunity that my, for my character to die in his sleep due to hunger will happen because he just won't wake up. He won't wake up in time. He's like, I'm hungry, but fuck it, I'm going to keep sleeping. I mean, I feel like I might not ever be able to get out of bed again, but uh, whatever. Let's just go back to sleep. Fuck it. Like, Jesus. I, I used to have such a hard time going to sleep when I was hungry. All right. Now, let's uh, keep barricading up these windows. And once this is all secured, uh, I am down for heading into Muldrow, or at least starting to prep for the trip. And by prepping, I mean sorting my things and heading down that road. That long, lonely road to Muldrow. It's been a long time since I've been in Muldrow. Probably over a month or so. Um, real time in, well, more than a month or so, probably like two or so months, you know, real time in my real lifetime. It's, uh, it's been a long time because I've been in here. I drink. I don't want to drink. I just want to barricade. There we go. Um, I've been here the whole, my whole series and I haven't really done any Muldrow stuff, uh, since the game kind of launched on Steam, you know, back in November or whenever it was a month or so ago. So it's really exciting. All right, let's get one more up. Let's go check this window over here, because I think it's barricaded. Yeah, but it needs one more. Unbarricade. Did I use it all? Oh, I used it all. Well, I'd say that's pretty safe. 
That one window does worry me a little bit because it only has two. But I'm not sure if I care enough. Everything else has three. This one right here has three. Everything has three, so I'm pretty sure I'm safe. So let's start organizing our inventory to head off into Muldrow then. Um, we're going to need quite a few things to head into Muldrow. Uh, we're going to need to reorganize. I'm going to want to take my guns. Probably my better axe and my better bat. I'm not going to want to take a broken axe, especially if I need um, <coughs> a second weapon. And if my bat breaks or if I'm surrounded or I need something, a melee weapon that might, you know, has a higher potential of one-shotting whatever threats around me, I'd rather have an axe in my hand. So let's start organizing just a tad. So in here, we have a bat. Let's take a look at our bat. Our bat's at 93%. That's totally okay. Um, let's go here. We're going to grab this one. Put in our primary. And this one can go into here. Put that away. This is going to have how much? Looks like it's at 100. Let's go ahead and minimize. Alright. Uh, well, it's not showing me. I'm assuming it's at 100. The golden star is full, so that's good. Uh, we're going to put away our construction tools. Nails. We should get plenty of nails and stuff on the way. Gonna put these away, hammer away, baseball bat staying, everything else is staying, pistol will hang on to, in case we come across pistol rounds, we are gonna take the shotgun and the ammo. We'll take a look at our weight after that, six out of eight, that's a lot. We might have to move some stuff around. We'll put this in here. Eight out of eight. I mean, we're, we could carry it. We could definitely do with it, but um, by, by dispersing some weight, we're actually going to be able to uh, lower it. We could actually, we're going to want to put this in here because I'm told that you can box up your shotgun shells. So that's what I'm going to do. Put in box. Okay, we can. Box of shotgun shells. It's going to help a lot. And then as this kind of goes, put this away. So the box of shotgun shells only weighs 0.3. We're still 7 out of 8. It's got to be the sawn off. I don't know why we're so overly over encumbered. Probably could, well, actually, Matt, this is probably the bat. 6 out of 8, that's a bit better. This is going to be good. I think this will be good for our trip. Now, as far as food is concerned, we're going to want to bring some. Um, I'd say we bring our sandwiches, our hams. And anything else? We could probably bring our chips. Lollipops will be good too. Let's bring those. This sh should be plenty of food. Because once we get to Muldrow, remember, it's like an untouched promised land of a plenty of stuff. So we're going to want to uh, loot the hell out of it, and food will not be an issue. But I like to bring it and be prepared just in case. Now we can start heading out. Um, actually, no. You know what? No, no. Let's head out in the morning. Let's head out in the morning, bright and early. We're going to get my character in bed at a decent time. Let's wait until about, you know, 19, 20, somewhere around there. Uh, we'll eat We'll eat a little bit. Let's eat a little bit of what's in here, actually. Lollipop before bed. You know, healthy, natural diet for your survival needs. And once it's 8 o'clock, we'll get our character in bed. Not the bathroom. Ooh, 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 while we're here, actually, let's go ahead and take some stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and take beta blockers. We'll take an emergency case. This is called in case of emergency, everybody. Um, the fact that I'm planning for that is uh, tells you how, how, how much faith I have in myself. Painkillers, sleeping tablets, vitamins on the off chance we need some vitamins. Did I grab beta blockers? Yep, okay. No antidepressants, there's no need for those really. Uh, the ine the un the uh, Eventual inevitability of death lurks every episode for me. So I'm always afraid, but that's gonna be it right there. If I get bit, man, I'm going out. I'm going out without taking a. without turning into a zombie. I refuse to turn into one of the monsters. The monsters that I've been killing. But I think this is a good place to wrap up the episode. I'm pretty sure we're, uh, we're good here, and we will continue our travel or start our travel to Muldrow next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for more daily Zomboid and dropping a like and a comment below helps perpetuate the series forward. And I'll see all of you next time. Bye-bye.